Hello. Welcome to the Millstuff channel. Today I want to share with you about the revolution of the Boeing P-8 Poseidon. A patrol plane which now being a ship killer and a bomber. The US Navy wants to arm its Boeing P-8 Poseidon patrol planes with new anti-ship missiles plus precision guided bombs, mines, and aerial decoys. If the fleet follows through on the plan, the Navy will acquire its first new bomber aircraft in generations. The last A-6 bombers left the fleet in the late 1990s. The jet-propelled P-8 which rapidly is replacing older, propeller-driven P-3s in Navy squadrons, already carries anti-submarine torpedoes, harpoon anti-ship missiles, and standoff land attack missiles expanded response, or SLAM ER. But now the Navy wants to add long-range anti-ship missiles, joint direct attack munitions, small diameter bombs, Mark 62, 63, 65 mines, and miniature air launch decoys. The fleet announced the addition in a February 2020 solicitation to the industry. The new weapons greatly would expand the kinds of targets the P-8 can attack. The Poseidon is a modified 737NG airliner with a new wing, military sensors, and communications as well as an internal weapons bay and wing pylons for munitions. With its current loadout, the P-8 can strike ships and land targets more than 150 miles away plus submarines at shorter distances. Adding Warazm would extend the Poseidon's striking range to greater than 200 miles for sea targets. JDAM and SDB, while more limited in range than SLAM ER is, would give P-8 crews the option of striking coastal installations and supporting ground troops in lightly defended airspace. The addition of an air launch decoy could improve the P-8's survivability against enemy air defenses. But adding these new munitions doesn't necessarily alter the P-8's role. The Navy uses its planned fleet of at least 177 Poseidons for maritime patrol, anti-submarine warfare, anti-ship strikes, and overland surveillance using a secretive, underslung radar. The APS-154 Littoral Surveillance Radar System transforms the P-8 into a surface surveillance platform similar to the U.S. Air Force's E-8 radar plane. U.S. Navy P-8s were part of NATO's response after Russia in October 2019 sorted eight submarines at one time into the cold waters of the Barents and Norwegian seas. Between October and November 2019, the NATO planes flew more than 40 missions. Six Norwegian Air Force P-3s, four U.S. Navy P-8s, and a Canadian Air Force CP-140 flew from Andoya in Norway. At least one additional P-8 flew from Keplavik in Iceland. A French Navy Atlantic II patroller staged from Prestwick Airport in Scotland. Flight trackers followed the patrol planes as they flew hundreds of miles into the North Atlantic to fly racetrack patterns over the apparent locations of Russian submarines. The patrol planes used their radars, sonar buoys, and magnetic detectors to find subs on and below the waves. The US fleet has not developed tactics for employing the P-8 as a true bomber. Nor is the relatively lightly built P-8 necessarily suited for hard flying in dangerous environments. In adding new munitions, the Navy could make the P-8 better at what it already does. And in a way, the fleet simply is replacing existing capabilities. The patrol version of the P-3, which has served since the 1960s, is on schedule to leave the fleet in 2023. The Navy over the decades has added a wide range of weapons to the P-3 including torpedoes, anti-ship, and land attack missiles, unguided rockets, cluster bombs, and even Maverick anti-tank missiles. Other countries have planned or completed similar modifications to their maritime patrol planes. The Royal Air Force in the early 2000s weighed adding laser-guided bombs and land attack cruise missiles to its planned fleet of Nimrod MRA-4 patrol planes. But London cancelled the Nimrod in 2010, leaving the RAF without a maritime patrol plane until the first of a batch of nine new P-8s arrived in the United Kingdom in 2019. It's unclear whether the RAF plans to add to its Poseidons the same weapons the US Navy wants to add to its own planes. The French Navy meanwhile has modified some of its twin-prop Atlantic II maritime patrol planes to carry laser-guided bombs. The aircraft design is based on the proven fuselage of the 737-800 and on the wings of the 737-900. The P-8A aircraft has increased gross weight capability in comparison with the 737-800. In June 2005, Boeing announced that the design of the P-8A's wingtips was changed from the blended winglet to a backswept wingtip. In June 2006, Stork Aerospace of the Netherlands was awarded the contract for manufacturing the backswept wingtips. The internal weapons bay is installed beneath the forward section of the fuselage. The 737-900 style wings are built with hardpoints for carrying air-to-surface missiles. 
The 737 MMA is assembled at the Boeing production facility in Rendon, Washington. The 737's fuselage and tail sections are built by Spirit Aerosystems in Wichita, Kansas, before being transferred to Renton, where all the unique 737 MMA aircraft's structural features are incorporated in sequence during fabrication and assembly. The quality and performance acceptance flight testing of the aircraft was conducted from Renton Field and final installations and checkout of the mission system and special flight test instrumentation was conducted at the Boeing Field. The aircraft was then ferried to a naval air station at Patuxent River, Maryland, for a flight test. The integral bomb bay can carry freefall bombs, Raytheon Mark 54 torpedoes, and depth charges. Air-to-surface missiles are installed on the underwing hardpoints. The U.S. Navy armed the P-8A with a development of the MK-54 torpedo that can be fired from high altitude. The first MK-54 torpedo was successfully test-fired by the P-8A Poseidon in October 2011. Northrop Grumman is supplying the Electronic Warfare Self-Protection Suite which includes a Termin ALQ-213 Volts Electronic Warfare Management System, or EWMS, a Northrop Grumman Directional Infrared Countermeasures Set, a Northrop Grumman Radar Warning System, and a BAE Systems Countermeasures Dispenser System. The aircraft can cruise at a high altitude at nearly 926 km per hour, and loiter at a speed of 333 km per hour over the sea at 60 meters. The aircraft has two CFM International CFM 56 7B27A high bypass turbofan engines, each rated at 120 kN. The same model CFM 56 7 engines power the Boeing 737 Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft, in production for Australia and Turkey, and the U.S. Navy C-40 Clipper Transport. The engine logged more than 30 million flight hours and maintains a proven high reliability figure of merit of 0.003% in flight shutdown rate for every 1,000 hours of flight. Additional fuel tanks are installed in the aft baggage hold, providing a total maximum fuel capacity of 34,096 kilograms.